Hello, so welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to carry on with the menu system and we're going to now use the CSS sprites we created in Photoshop. If you haven't actually created them yet, if you if you want to, you can download the actual file I created from my website and I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, so like I said, we're going to take the CSS sprites we created and then we're going to add those using HTML and CSS. So when you come to the site in a browser and you hover your mouse over the first icon, it will swap it out for the one with the nice um, outer glow. So if we just go over to Dreamweaver, just to let you know, I've actually installed Adobe CS5.5. Now I've noticed a massive difference in the speed um, and obviously there's a ton of new features that I'm going to be going over in an upcoming videos about uh, HTML5, CSS3, uh, actually making, uh, once you've made a website, sorry, and then obviously if people are going to be viewing that on a tablet or, an, or a mobile phone, uh, you need to obviously optimize your website for those devices. So I'm going to make some videos on how to do that uh, once I finish these two web series that I'm currently doing at the moment. So enough about that, let's crack on with the actual design. So we need to add in the icons all the way along this background image here. So if we go into the design, and uh, we want to come to the section where it says div ID of nav. So obviously this is the, the nav bar we're going to add the icons onto. So we're going to create the following code. So we're going to say an, an ordered list. So inside of the ordered list, we're going to have list items. So let's close that off. And then obviously inside of the list item, we're going to have a link. So I'm just going to link this to the index.php page for now. And then just close that off. So we've got our first link here. So I'm just going to create a couple more. So I'll create seven in total. So I'm just copy the text and just paste that down. So we've now got seven menu items. Now we just need to add some classes and some styling in the CSS to achieve the effects that's in the Photoshop design. So the first one here, we're going to give it a class. So we're going to say class. And we're going to give this one the class of link one. And I'm just going to copy this for the ease of the video. And I'm going to paste it below on each one. So they've all got classes, we just need to change the numbers. So link one, link two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we've now got a way of targeting each particular list item. So that's the markup created for the menu system. So if we just go into design view, you don't really see any changes because we need to add in the styling. So you'll probably notice we haven't actually added in anything here like home, about, contacts, or that sort of thing. We're going to leave that off for now and we'll add that in using jQuery which looks quite nice. So the way we're going to target this, we're going to say a div with an ID of nav that has a ordered list that has list items do the following. So if we go to the style sheet, so here we're going to create an ID of nav that has an ordered list and we're going to say the following. In fact, if I just create a bit of space, we're going to say the width is 880 pixels. We're going to say the height is 80 pixels as well. So we've now set up the width and the height for the container for the OL. The next thing we're going to do, if I just create some space, is we're going to say something similar. We're going to say an ID of nav with an OL that has list items is do the following. So we're going to basically turn off the um, the dots that it creates next to the list items using a list style. I'm going to say none. And then we need to float all of the menu items to the left so they're all in line with one another. And then we're going to add in our first image now. So we're going to say ID of nav that has an OL that has a list item with a class of link one do the following so we're going to say background image and then we're going to browse for that particular image so if we go into our images folder 
you should have all of these saved out uh, uh, sprites. So we want the first one, which is going to be this one here. So nav link one, and click OK. So that's now added that in. And then we're going to say background. If I could spell background, background repeat. We don't want it to repeat, so we're going to say no repeat. So we've got that bit sorted out. If we just go to the actual design, can't see it just yet because we need to give it a width and a height. So the width of that particular image is 123 pixels, and the height is 96. So if we just go to the index, you can now see that image has come into position. So that's the first one in. So if you look closely at the actual image, you'll see that it's got the outer glow. So this is the top image that is showing by default. Now we don't want the top one, we want the bottom one. So what we have to do, if we go back to the style sheet, we need to tell this um, one here to show the bottom of the background image. So if we say background position, we're going to say bottom. And if we just go to the index page, you can now see it looks very similar, but you, can, you can't see that outer glow now. So what's happened here, if I just bring up this document here. So this is the image. This is our first sprite image. So when we added it in, it was defaulting to this top image here. Now what I did then, I used background position bottom. So now it's using this bottom one instead of using the top. So if I just minimize that. So if we go back into the code, what we need to do now, we need to create another one of these for the hover state. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy all of this, paste it below. So the way, we, the way you trigger a hover, so we say an ID of nav that has an OL with a list item that has a class of link1, and then we use a pseudo selector called hover. We then say the background position, we want it to be the top. So we're just swapping it out. So if I save that and then save the index page, you can't see the change here, but if I preview this in a browser, so here's our design in the browser. I've just refreshed the page and you can see our icon is here. Obviously it's not right in the position where we want it up here, but we'll sort that in a second. But if I hover my mouse over, you can now see that you get the glow effect when you hover over. So that's the first one in position. So if we just minimize this. So for the next one that we need to add in, if I just create some space, if we go to the index page and go to the code, so we've added this one in, so we've targeted the link one. The next one we need to do is link two. So if we go to the style sheet, so instead of having to write out all that code, if we just grab the link one and then just paste it below, if we change this to link two, then we need to change the number here to number two. And I've just noticed in mine, my if I bring this over, we did this one first, but this has got a capital, so you have to be careful when you're doing these things. If that's got a capital, you have to put a capital in the CSS as well. So link two has got a lowercase, so I've got to change that for this one here. So I'm going to change that to lowercase. So the width on this one is slightly bigger, it's 124. So if I just save that, and if we go back to the design, you can now see number two is in position. So now we need to create the rule for when you hover over that one, it should then show you the top image, which has, has the outer glow. So again, if we go to the style sheet, and again, we may as well just copy this and paste it below. So again, all we have to do is just add on the hover to the end of it and change this to top and then save the page. And if we go back to our design and if we hit refresh, number two is in there. If I hover over it, we now get the nice glow effect on that one as well. So if we go back to the design and again, we'll copy number two and then just paste it down here and call this number three. And again, change that to number three. Now the width of this one is 123. And if we just save that and go back to the index page, 
and again that's coming in as well so you can see how easy it is to add these in and again it's just copy and pasting once you've done it once you only have to change a couple of things so again we'll copy this and then we have to have to, have to add on the hover and change the position from the bottom of the image to the top of the image and if we just save that and go back to our the, the browser hit refresh and there you go there's a third one that's in so again if we just go back to the design and I'm going to copy a, the text change this to number 4 change the image to number 4 save that just make sure that's working which it is and then we need to create the hover state for that one so I'm going to come down add on the hover to the end and change the position like that check that out just to make sure that's working and it is so I'm just going to add in the others as well so like I said all you have to do is just keep changing these so they match the number of the link and then what I'll do I'll pause the video and come back to it when I've come to the the last one So I've now added in all seven, so if we just go back to the browser and hit refresh, you can now see they're all in position and when you hover over them you can get that nice little glow effect. So what we need to do now is just move all of the icons up and then to the right slightly. So to do this, if we come out of here, if we go into the actual design and go to the code, everything is enclosed inside of the OL here, this ordered list. So we need to affect that portion. So if we come up the design. So here, where we're giving it a width and a height, we now need to manipulate this. So we're going to say position. And we're going to say relative, which gives us now the ability to move it in different directions. Uh, we're going to say on the top, move it up 50 pixels, so minus 50. So if I just save that and go to our browser, and if I hit refresh, you can now see that's jumped up. So it's nearly in position. We just need to shift it over now uh, to the right-hand side. So we're going to minimize this. And then we're going to say, from the left, move it 40 pixels. Now if we bring our browser back and hit refresh, you can now see that's now in position and we've now got this lovely looking menu system and when you hover over you get the nice uh, hover state of the outer glow so the user knows which icon they're actually on so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually leave the video here for now now that that's all in position in the future videos coming up we're going to add in the main content and crack on getting all the content inside of that uh, so I've got loads more videos coming on different things like HTML5, CSS3 um, all that good stuff. I've now started using uh, Adobe CS 5.5 which has got loads more features in which I'll be able to make videos on. Uh, I'll be uploading those to YouTube and also my website as well which is over here which is mattsaundersmcp.co.uk there'll be a link in the description so over here I post other videos um, that you, I don't actually post up to YouTube and we've got the forums over here as well uh, and I've got a section in here where people can add their own tutorials here so share your own tutorials so if there's anything you want to add uh, CSS, PHP, HTML, Photoshop, Flash all that sort of stuff you can post it in there and I've also like I said got the download section where you can download the HTML files, free Photoshop files and all that good stuff so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video